Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining the 2.30 broadcast of Miss Glenn and Friends Read On. I'm excited to have you all here. We're just a few hours away from what's going to be spring break for us, so we're excited about today's readers to help us get ready for spring break. So we have our special guest, Miss James, here to read with us. I'm going to turn it over, let her introduce herself to those of you who may not know her, and jump right into her book. Greetings, everyone. This is the Miss Keisha James. I teach fifth grade at the Marshall Elementary School located in Orangeburg County. I was delighted to be able to do this read aloud for you guys. As you can see, I'm rocking my SC State HBCU shirt today. So today I decided to read O oh, to be a bulldog. So please listen up as I read. I will ask you some questions throughout the story. So think about any HBCU that you have visited or you may like to attend one day. And once again, mm -hmm. an HBCU is a historical black college or university. Today I'm reading Oh to Be a Bulldog by Sonia Cunningham Leverett, illustrated by Neil Solanke. One special fall day, Dad and Caden drove through the gate. It was Caden's first time celebrating homecoming at South Carolina State. From the little piccolos to the big trombones, the marching 101 was working on their line. Tubas, clarinets, and mighty saxophones marched, marched, marched in perfect time. The drums went ba doom 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 while the trombones made a big sound of wah 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 and a wah 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 wah. Trumpets played in sync, a very loud and a honking tza. The flutes joined in playing buzz boom. Bang, crash, zip, collect. Dad and Caden went to Oliver C. Dawson Stadium where the team was warming up. Everyone was happy and smiling, swallowed tailgate food and big gulps. That makes me thirsty. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The crowd rose as they did the wave, and cheerleaders yelled through the megaphone. Suddenly, an airman landed on the field. In his hand, an American flag was proudly flown. Fans went wild as they applauded for the soldiers in their amazing show. How had that airman pulled his stunt? Everybody wanted to know. The stadium was full as pom-poms punched the air, standing room only. Not one bare seat. The dancers pranced back and forth as did the homecoming court. Then everyone bowed their heads, asking that no player be hurt. Eddie Moe shook hard and rocked, wowing the crowd on both knees the band backed him up by blaring out, pass the peas like you used to, hey. Get your popcorn, candy, peanuts, and coke, yelled the vendor who charged a fee. Soon it would be time for kickoff in his huge garnet and blue sea. Just then, Caden noticed Sanchez after hearing his bark. SC State's English Bulldog mascot stood by the fence where his dad parked. Dressed in a sweater and vest and pants, Sanchez was the coolest dog around. Caden couldn't wait until halftime so he could hit the ground. Caden desired to pet Sanchez and maybe even shake his paw. This English bulldog was so cool. He left Caden in awe. Dad asked security if Caden could pet the sharp and well-dressed canine. They gave him permission, 
but what was lacking was time. So guys, how do you think Caden feel at this time? Do you think he's feeling happy or sad? How do you know? What's the evidence from the story to let you know how he's feeling? Caden didn't want to leave. He begged to take Sanchez home. He didn't have a dog. He didn't, as, as an only child, he was alone. The game ended, but Caden didn't know. All he could think about was becoming an owner of his own English bulldog. He no longer be a loner. If Caden could show responsibility, mom and dad agreed to buy a pet. He had to make all A's, clean his room, and do his chores. It was a lot, but Caden's mind was set. His room clean and chores done, his report card was straight A's through. Caden was tickled as they drove to the animal rescue. There, Caden saw him, all fluffy and white, his own English bulldog. It was love at first sight. Caden mm, mm, mm. named the dog S.C., an excellent name, he knew. He trained him with much love, and they became an inseparable two. Boys and girls, who are the main characters in this story? Who are the main characters in this story about, oh, to be a bulldog? And what HBCU college is this story centered around? Let me know. In future years, they went to college together, a mascot and a future engineer. How many of you love math and science? How many of you have math and science as your favorite subjects? Let me know. SC was Caden's friend, roommate, study partner, and peer. Now a full-fledged pet owner, Caden closed his eyes and began to reminisce. He thought of the years he spent with SC, his world had become full of bliss. Ooh, reminisce, that's a big word. Question, what is the meaning of reminisce? What is the meaning of reminisce? If you don't know, you can look at your what? Context clues. So what is the meaning of reminisce? He remembered the song his mother taught him when he was three or four. Oh, to be a bulldog had new meaning like it never did before. Oh, to be a bulldog will be a dream come true. Oh, to be a dog, bulldog is what I want to do. Staying focused, studying hard are a big part of a successful life. Work hard now and stay committed. That was surely less than strike. Why a bulldog, you might ask, wearing garnered in blue? Not a tiger, gamecock, or a chant. There's nothing more I'd rather do. SC State was established in 1896. Miak champs and full of loyalty on 300 College Street Northeast. A mighty bulldog. There's nothing more I'd rather be. Question, where is SC State located? What city and what state? And what is SC State's mascot? That concludes my story for SCSUO to be a bulldog. And here's a few things I'd like you to think about. What does HBCU stand for? Do you have a favorite HBCU? What is it? And tell me why. And what was the central idea of this story? What was the purpose of this author creating this book for you guys? I enjoy reading the story to you. I'm a proud alum of the SCSU, grad and undergrad. Please consider joining Cyclone State University. And I will see you guys next time. I love you. Stay safe. And we're going to get through this together with Bulldog Tenacity. <laughs> I love it. Although I'm a Claflin grad, I love it. That Bulldog, Bulldog Tenacity, we all can certainly use a share of that. Thank you so much for sharing that book with us. Um, and I see that we have some new people who joined us. Samira, thanks so much for joining Thank us and interacting. Harmony, thanks so much for joining us and interacting. And I see that you all know 
Um, you all know some great information about the institution. We know that it's South Carolina State University, located in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Mascot is the Bulldog. Mascot is Bulldog. So South Carolina State is definitely, um, it's, I don't know, it's, it's one of the pillars of Orangeburg, I'd say. Um, both of my parents are graduates of South Carolina State University. My older sister, my older sister, my sister right under me, and my brother are also all graduates of South Carolina State University. So homecoming is something I'm very familiar with. Um, and if you guys have never been to homecoming at South Carolina State University, it's definitely something you should plan to do. Um, and I'm in a classroom. I have a lot of good friends from Claflin. I used to hang out at Claflin in undergrad as well. I still attend you guys' um, homecoming as well, and your homecoming is nice as well. Thank so Claflin you. Claflin does a lot for the community, so we're kind of like sisters, you know? Definitely. We support each other. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much again, Ms. James, for um, taking the time out to read with the students today. And to all of you who joined in, thank you so much. To those who may be catching the replay, Thank you so much. Um, and if you all are available, I'd love to see you back here on my channel at seven o'clock for one more reading before we enter into spring break. But you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye guys.